For 25 years, Nancy has been baking homemade cheese wafers for family and friends. Believe me, they are unbelievable. Of course, I'm a little bit prejudiced. They're very tasty, and I can't stop myself from eating them when I make them. A good friend of my mother's heard me say um, one day that I sure would love to make what at that time we called cheese straws. And um, so this lady, uh, next time I saw her, she said, Nancy, I have something special for you. And she gave me the recipe. And I'm not really a very good cook, but the cheese straws have given me a very good reputation, you know. <laughs> All of a sudden, my daughter says, you know, Mother, I think I'd like to make cheese straws. And so, here we are. Well, the first things we do is um, we measure the butter and the um, this extra sharp cheddar cheese. I found it the, the dough needed to be kept cool, chilled really, and so by grating it rather finely and mixing it together, it speeds up the process too, makes it more efficient. We use unsalted butter and we're working with Rebecca Grace to be buying wholesale butter for them, which is a Kentucky Proud product. When we make these, we always make enough for a case plus samples for the retailers. They have found that when we have samples, that they just fly off the shelves. I'd make a, you know, if somebody was having a party or an anniversary or something, I'd make some for them. And um, then um, I, I made them for Ashland, that's Henry Clay's home. They have a holiday sale and I made them once a week for about three months and they gave me a nice tax deduction for doing it. And some, one day they called me and I hadn't, they left it on my answering machine. They'd already sold out of, of the cheese straws that I, of, uh, that I dropped off that morning. I mean, I hadn't left, but an hour later they'd sold out. And I think they were hoping I'd bring another batch, but it's really, they're really not, you know, they're not a snap to make. When Mother made the cheddar snaps at home, she um, would use this. And so for a while, we were doing this all by hand and using one of these machines. And, and um, I was developing bigger biceps than my husband, <laughs> which didn't go over real well. Plus, it just, the work was too much for us. And so we realized we needed to, um, we needed to find a machine that could extrude the dough for us. And I looked, um, looked at all kinds of machines um, flew to Chicago, um, went up to Cincinnati, looked at all kinds of machines, and what we settled on was this, which is actually a sausage maker. And people still look forward to them, and I've got a little dog, Rasty, and he only comes in the kitchen when I'm making cheese straws. <laughs> it's the only thing that he thinks I, is worthwhile. A lot of people enjoy the kick at the end, and um, they read on our, our package and it says, and a kick, and, and people's eyes open up and it says, they do have a kick. I mean, you surprise. Because we only make this, you know, 12 boxes at a time, we make them in small batches and, and we do, do by hand, I think one, it ensures consistent 
quality because we are, you know, we're right there watching it if something happens with the machines or if an ingredient um, um, isn't right, we, we can tell it immediately. And so I think that it ensures that the customer receives the highest quality product. That, um, and also the freshest. I mean, that's one of the things that people tell us when they buy them is, is how fresh they taste. the truly pure ingredients we use. There's no little fudging over here. I mean, if you read the ingredients on some of these things you buy, they're kind of weird sounding things, you know, and this is straightforward. And um, I, think, I think people appreciate the naturalness of it. I think I care most about being remembered by my grandchildren and children um, um, is just being uh, maybe a fun person with a certain amount of intelligence, not too much, but <laughs> that's about it. <laughs>